Hello, and welcome to Mirror Moon EP. This is not what I was intending to stream tonight, and that's kind of why I'm so late. So it's going to be a, a short stream today. I was just having a lot of technical difficulties with what I wanted to stream. So let's just play a random game. And this is a random game, but I have no idea what it is. It has mixed reviews. There are some people that really hate it, but some people seem to like it. And it seems to be one of those, like, weird games, and... Do I have...? Yeah, okay, the sound is normal. I don't know, I like weird games, but I don't really know what this is. I, I have no idea. Like, I don't even know if it's a walking simulator. I think it is. You look at weird things, but... I don't know if there's any gameplay whatsoever. There's something about, like, player-named galaxies and stuff, which... I guess could be a little concerning to stream, but hopefully that's that's fine. We'll see, I guess. And yeah, there's full screen shadows enabled on or off. Not really much cursor sensitivity. I'll probably have to lower that once we get in. I haven't I haven't checked it out. Nice, good voice crack to start it off. And new game, new game settings. During the game, star systems will be named by you and players from all over the world. You will be you will only be able to name stars while you are online. Sounds very strange. If you choose to play with online galaxy maps, the star system will be named by you and players from all over the world. You will blah blah blah. Yeah, that's the same. Playing without online galaxy maps will let you save names for star systems locally. You can't switch to playing with or without online galaxy maps once you start your game. And there's like seasons, latest season, and there's been 112, I guess now, seasons, which sounds really weird. I don't know what that means, but let's just test it out and hope it's not just all like profanity. I am slowly learning to travel in space. Time is meaningless. Time is a meaningless variable that slips through my fingers. Stopping requires a lot of energy while moving feels almost like staying still. Breathing is hard inside this machine. I need to stay calm. Okay, I thought I had to read that really quickly. Turns out, okay, that was a pretty good pace. You could have read that, like, slowly enough. Um, big red button. Yeah. Just turn everything on? Whoa, no? I'm trying to, like, turn this thing, but I can't. Flip all the switches on. Main screen turn on. We get signal. Now what? It's just like the music button? Oh, there we go. Insert the... the cartridge. Huh. Yeah, move W is and D. I did hear this. There is no mouse movement in this. You don't just like look around. You only walk with like tank controls, which some people really hated apparently. Oh, is that me? Yeah, I guess that's like kind of a map up there. Oh yeah, mirror moon. The moon is like a mirror of where you are. I see. Oh, and I... Got a triangle? Rotate mouse or arrows. Oh, I see. Rotate the uh, the thing I have. Whoa! Ah, I rotate the mirror moon. I'm okay already. I'm I'm intrigued. This is cool. But yeah, I I do you understand there was one complaint in particular that like you can't look up it would be so easy to just like okay if you go here i want to just look up and see the mirror moon but you can't you're not allowed to do that you have to walk around until you find like a spot where you can see the moon which i guess can be kind of tricky whoa well, this is new. Oh, 
Oh my god. Now what? What did that do? Now we're going like this way or is there anything else? Oh yeah, there is that. And I'm kind of on the course for it. So if I just walk forward, I should get there. Whoa! Suddenly I have a laser. Okay. Is, is this it? Or is it here? Yeah. But I guess I can't do anything here yet. Huh. Can I see the moon anywhere? No. Yeah, so what... What am I looking for now? Also, the mouse sensitivity, I guess that's just for... Oh. No, I don't want to exit to navigation. I just wanted to get the options. But I guess mouse sensitivity... It's not for, uh... Like, turning around, because that's not a thing. So I could almost, like, increase the mouse sensitivity a little bit, I feel. But yeah, what about... Hmm. Oh! Oh! Whoa! No? I don't, like, beam up? Am I supposed to shoot? Oh, the red thing! Of course! So I, I rotate it, and then shoot... Wow! I like this! So far, I like this a lot! I don't mind that you can't, like, look around, that's fine. Sure, it might be a little, like, wonky to get to you, uh, get used to, but... I don't know, I... I think this seems like a really interesting concept so far. And there we go. Now this is, like, activated and raised. And I get another module, whatever that does. Lock and drag, right click or enter. What? What the hell does that mean? Where am I? I'm there. What does it mean to lock and drag? Because if I'm doing this right now, nothing is happening. And then if I right click and then lock and... Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's what happens. But what does that do? What the hell? Pillars of Yuri. So is that something someone has named? Because Yuri is best genre, I suppose? I'm not sure where I am. Here's another thing. Is that a new thing, or is is this still pillar, Pillars of Yuri? Pillars of Neil. Guess these are just people, like, naming their pillars. Hmm. Feels kind of quiet to me, but I guess I can just turn up my volume, like myself. I hope it's fine on stream. What was that? Pillar of Stan Stanislaw. Also, that background sound is, like, really loud, but I want to hear the music here that's going on. That's more interesting. Don't even know, like, which direction I'm going. Where am I? Where am I? I can't see my marker anywhere. It's like I'm not on the planet. Guess I just have to wander around until I find this one. Or I could just right click again and then find it that way, but... Nah. 
So this is the, the one pillar. Can I see another pillar from here? Oh, hey, Soren. What's up? Playing some weird game. I don't know what this is yet, but I'm kind of intrigued. It's got some weird, like, control scheme where you can't actually look around with a mouse. You just, like, tank control it. And things are named by players, I guess? I don't know, it's it's very strange so far, but I'm kind of digging it. Oh, what's this? Nothing. I just need to find that one pillar that's left. And I'm not sure how I can find it. Guess I should right-click again, but I feel like if I right-click... I'm gonna, like, lose the progress I have. I wanna make sure to find the pillar. It's just this, this one pillar, over and over. Did all the other pillars, like, disappear? So you only have the last pillar active at once or something? I guess I have to press right-click. And see what happens. All right. That stops. Oh, well, right there. It's right there. Okay, and that was... Whoa. This is Pillar of... Hold on, I need to rotate it a bit. Pillar of Philip. Good job, Philip. Is there a new one? Oh, and now I have to go over there. Wherever there is. Kind of hard to tell. And yeah, navigation is a little hard. Since the, uh... Oh, here it is. The player marker disappears when you're using the right-click thing. E yeah? I'm here? What does that do? Do I shoot here? Wait, no. Shoot. There. No. If I shoot, like, a lot, do I create my own pillar? No. Alright, let's lock it again. Can I... Where, where is the actual, like, sun? How do I make it eclipse again? So I can know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I, I'm also very confused. Here we go. I think you're supposed to be confused in this game. Okay, there's where I am. But, like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Huh. Yeah, so it's, like, opposite of where I am... Yeah. But going here doesn't really do anything, does it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what I'm even supposed to do at this point. If I just, like, leave the moon behind? No, that still doesn't do anything. Huh. Yeah, now I'm just lost. Up until this point, I was kind of understanding it. Now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I could just 
hit escape and return to navigation, but that feels like giving up. I don't know if I'm supposed to give up or if there's something else I can do. Maybe just wander around in this mode, in eclipse mode, if I go back to that area. Maybe there's something new. If I can even find that area. Maybe that doesn't show up here. Yeah, no. Okay, wait, where am I? So that was over there, wasn't it? Or... Oh man, I can't remember now. Let's go... this way. Yeah, here's this thing. But that doesn't help. Huh. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna test pressing escape then, because I don't know what else to do. Exit to navigation. Like, maybe I completed it, maybe that's all you do on a planet, and now we, like, go somewhere else? I don't know. Yeah, we have, we have different things now, I can go to different planets. So, like, let's... Also, I, I do need to, uh... Whoa, what just happened? There we go. I, I need to increase the cursor sen sensitivity quite a bit. It's way too slow. Continue season 112. Whoa, now it's like, now it's way too high. God damn it. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like, this sensitivity shouldn't be raised, but the, like, turning around thing, that should be raised. What is that? Side B, side A? Oh! Didn't even get to turn things on. Okay, so I'm, I'm just back here again, same place. But then, if I go back and flip it, what happens then? Whoa! What the hell was that? They just like flush my progress on that island or something? Or a planet? Yeah, it's like it's side B. But why is that not working? Do I need to aim it better? No. Yeah, I was just like. I didn't know what to stream, I didn't feel like doing a puzzle thing, but I'm doing a puzzle thing, I guess. I didn't want to do a, a Rusty Lake games tonight, and then I figured I would just like jump into Starbound, because I haven't played Starbound in like four years, but I played it to completion, but I have like half of the achievements left to get, so I just wanted to like relax and play some Starbound, and get achievements and fuck around and not care, but... That game is so janky, and it just didn't run. I just couldn't run it, I couldn't stream it. For some reason, whenever I captured it in OBS, the game dropped to like 20 FPS, but when I didn't capture it, it was fine. So it's just, that game is so janky and runs so poorly, and oh man, there's just so many reports of that, like people saying just like, I have a, a really good computer, but Starbound runs at like shit FPS and there's like tons of workarounds and it's just a massive headache and I've tried fucking everything and nothing works. And yeah, just, I was supposed to do that and I spent like an hour trying to figure it out and failed. So uh, that's why I'm probably gonna do a shorter stream now. I'm very confused what I'm doing, like, Side B doesn't work. I guess I have to complete. I'm only 50% on side A. So I guess I have to complete that first. But then what do I do at this point? Yeah, there's that again. I'm just very confused by this 
pulsing thing, what I'm supposed to try and do here. Yeah, Starbound also is like, it has a lot of problems with when things get too busy on a planet or whatever, performance just starts dropping like crazy and like stuttering and micro freezes and just, ah, man, that game, it's kind of sad because the game has a lot of, I mean, it's fun. It's a fun game, but yeah, just on the technical level, it is a mess, which is a shame. And for some reason, streaming it is, like, impossible, apparently, for me. I am so confused what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm, like, right at the center here. I might need to, like, look up a walkthrough, I guess. Alright, Moon, come with me. Can I, like, place the moon? No? I mean, obviously it's far away, so that's not gonna work. But, like, what am I trying to do? Line it up so it's, like... No? Beam me up! I just don't understand what the hell is happening. Let me see if I can uh, find anything out about this. Guides, I guess. Beginner's guide. Uh-huh. Whatever. Controls, I don't care. Well, that's just like... I, I don't need to know about that. I just want to know, like, what I'm supposed to be doing on this planet at this point. First planet walkthrough. Yeah. Eclipses and pillars. With a tool complete, okay, you can now move the moon to some degree. You need to end the eclipse by moving the moon away from the star. Just move it. Each pillar or beams of darkness that you can see are unique enough? Yeah, you don't have a navigation arrow without the eclipse. Wait, what? With a map in hand, just walk through the pillars to make them turn on. I did that. Once you have all three lit up, the moon will begin to show what looks like waves moving outward from an unidentified center point. This begins the next puzzle. Okay, I'm already there. Alignment. Align the moon with a planet so it appears as if the moon pillars are pointing at the actual pillars. Okay. So it's like, I have this... I need to place this, like, here or something, but then I probably need to rotate it. How do I rotate it, like, around on itself? Just spin it around? I don't know. This is very weird. No. Okay, let's read some more. Align the moon with a planet so it appears as if the mini map pillars are pointing at the actual pillars. Pointing at them or like 
mimicking them, I guess mirroring them, yeah? Then move it back in front of the star. But then, how, how would you know that? How do I know where the pillars are? That's the problem. Yeah, exactly, even the walkthrough is like nonsense. So like, there's a pillar, but how do I know which one this is? This is the solo one. So, if I go to the like, epicenter here, and then over there is the solo one, so that would be that one. So, it would be like, aligned... Sort of like, this way? Oh man, this is so hard to look at. I don't even know. Yeah, that's true. You can shoot at the moon. But I guess you can't do that once you, like, lock it. Or can you? Because I'm supposed to, like, lock it and now take it back to the eclipse, I guess. Somehow. I'm not entirely sure how this makes sense, but... We do that. Oh, was I supposed to, like, shoot the pillars? Oh, man. And then you just have to, like, know... And the pillars don't even, like, remain for that long when you shoot the moon. Yeah, like, there's a pillar. But it's gone when I'm here... now. Yeah, these pillars are just gone. Oh boy. Maybe there's some, like... Stuck on the last... Point, I'm at the alignment part and I can't get it to work. Been trying for 30 minutes. No one says anything. Stand at the epicenter and align the pillars to align with the minimap. That's what I tried to do, but that's like really hard to do. And people are very mad about like fake updates. What? Huh. Everyone's confused. Just everyone is horribly confused. There's 20 pages of everyone just being like, what the fuck is happening? And some people that are like, this is brilliant, I guess. Help me get started. Figure it out yourself! Thanks, guy. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like if you just, like, if it clicks, it'll start making sense, but... Yeah, I'm just not understanding this part of it. When is the first world finished? I went to the center of the ripple, nothing happened. The beacons need to touch. Lude. Gun upgrade, what? I re-entered the game. And then he just goes off and does other stuff, I guess. Try these games instead. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Totally clueless. I I don't even know. There's something I have to do with that epicenter thing, but I'm very confused as to what that is. And now I have to find the moon again. I lost the moon. Seriously, where the hell is the moon?
Um, so I just have to keep walking until I run into it. It has to be here somewhere. There it is. All right, so take it out of the uh, the sun, and we have the pillars. And if I'm here, I can see where I am. I'm there. Wait, no? What is that? Is that me? I guess that's me. Is it? Or is, am I somewhere else? Yeah. I feel like the marker for me is kind of bugged out, like it's cut off. But if I move this now... Okay, so... If I turn... Over here... This is towards one of the pillars. Yeah, the marker is like clipping into the... The moon. So it's only showing half of it. So this is Pillar of Stanislaw. And then if I go like... This way, I'm gonna go to Pillars of Yuri. Yeah, here. These are the Pillars of Yuri, okay. And then if I take a right to about here, I'll be at the epicenter. Yeah, here. And then like right in front of me is Pillar of Pillars of Neil. Wait, like over here? No, I think I'm getting turned around now. Oh man. Ah, oh, this is so hard to keep track of. And I just don't understand how you, like, even rotate this. Do I want it just pointing, like, straight down? Because I'm right at the top? I guess? I can't even see... There. Okay. Right, yeah, I should make sure to, like, paint things with those markers so I know. So, if this is, like, pointing... Oh, my God. No, stop. Other way. If this is pointing down, Pillars of Yuri are in what direction? This direction. But that's not mirrored. I would actually want it to be, like, opposite? No? Would I? Oh, man. Wait, but then I, I need to take it into the eclipse again. Right? Oh, boy. Yeah, I thought this would be more of just, like, a puzzle game. This is pretty, uh, complicated. I just don't see, like, what, what am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to know where to go in the shadows? Guess we should read the weird post a bit more. Yeah, I just don't understand this part. Align the moon with a planet so it appears as if the moon pillars, minimap pillars, are pointing at the actual pillars. That is easier said than done, my dude. Then move it back in front of the star and follow the beams. Follow what beams? Am I supposed to shoot the pillars? To, like, create my own beams? To the little target on the ground. Oh man, this sounds so confusing. There's now a new structure. If you move the star again, the building remains, but keep it in the dark. Why? Oh my god. Hmm. 
is it still possible to get every achievement? Apparently. Unless you need to cheat. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just don't understand how you can navigate. Like, when you're standing in the epicenter, how do I position the moon? Am I supposed to put it, like, so that the moon is, is as if it's above me? But then I can't see it. That's the problem. Like, that's really weird. And then if I do that, how would I get it into the eclipse afterwards? It's just, like, so unclear how you're supposed to align it with the things on the planet or the moon. I just really don't know what to do. Now I can't find the Pillars of Yuri. Man, this thing is too fucking big. There we go. But how does that help me? Now I'm here. But I still don't know, like, which direction the epicenter is. Well, oh, over there. So I'm, like, going away from myself at this point. I came from the Pillars of Yuri, and... Yeah, wouldn't this be right, then? If I, like, rotate this... this way? It should be right, but then the question is, like, if I place it here, like that, then it's technically not aligned, because it's, like... It's over there. I would need to, like, move the moon way over here to have it be, like, actually pointing down at the epicenter. But if I do that, then I can't... I can't get it into the, uh... the sun for the eclipse, right? It's just very weirdly conflicting what you actually have to do. I kind of just want to, like, find a, a video showing this. I might just see if I can do that. Mirror moon. Walkthrough. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, look at something. Walkthrough of the first planet. Mind blow, in parentheses, exclamation mark. I'm just gonna skip ahead until I see the epicenter. Okay, that's way ahead of it. Alright. He's walking around. Turning on the pillars. Pillars of Neil. Stanislaw. Yeah. Skipping ahead. There's the epicenter. What are you doing now, though? Huh? Just a moment. What? Wait, that doesn't seem to have anything to do with the epicenter at all. Huh? Wait, hold on. Shit. I need to bring up OBS again. There we go. He just... Uh, okay. Where's, where's the eclipse? He didn't seem to align it at all with a, like, eclipse or anything. It just showed a map marker, a new map marker that I haven't been to. So... There's just, like, a marker there? That's something I need to, like, go to? 
and I need to turn like this way, but then bring this. Oh, God, Jesus. What? I just clicked outside the window. That that's not helpful. Please lock in. Am I locked in? No, I'm not. Why is it suddenly not locking in the cursor? Uh oh. It was doing it before, now it's not locking in. I think I'm going the right way if I just go straight forward here. Yeah, roughly there. And... No. Is that because it's, like, not aligned properly, or... Oh, man. I think I might need to quit the game and relaunch it. Or maybe just do this, maybe now. Nope, it's still not locked in, the cursor. One second. How do I make it lock in? What is happening? Why is it not locking in the cursor anymore? It just stopped doing that, even though it was doing it before. Let's see, I guess, if I just jump in. Is it locked now? Now it's locked. Okay, good. But man, I am still confused. Maybe I should just watch more of that video. Maybe I should just find the video here. Alright, ready for mind blow. Yeah, whatever, let's just full screen it here. So... He's walking around, doing God knows what, turning on the pillars, yeah. Let's skip until there's the epicenter thing, yeah, here, okay. So he's marking- wait, wait, wait. He's marking the epicenter. And then, I guess, figuring out his own position, yeah. So he needs to, like, go 180. Sure. Why are you spinning around even more? And then he's leaving the moon there. I see. I was trying to go there. Okay, alright. Well, let's try that, I guess. I was trying to go there with the moon here, but... How do you know where to, like, leave the moon? Where do you leave the moon? You have to- oh wait, you have to like- Oh man, you have to align the moon so that the epicenter is like where it actually is when it's at the sun. Or something. So like, if we just rotate- Oh man, that, that sounds kind of difficult. So like, where is the pillar- where are the pillars of Yuri? If I try and like, draw a line here. It's over there. Okay, so Pillars of Yuri are like this way. That should be about right. But then where's the sun now? And I guess I have to like rotate this a little bit as I go. Like there's the Pillars of... Wait, what just happened? That's Yuri. And there's the sun. So now it would be like here or something. So now we do the thing where I like I mark the epicenter here. And let's make a a row towards it as well. And then I like park the moon there. Turn around. I don't know. This is like not accurate at all. But maybe it's not super accurate? We'll see. Because this would sort of- Oh! Okay! 
All right, that's actually that actually does make sense. It's hard to figure out, but that kind of makes sense. And I don't know what just happened. Oh, now there's a beam here. I guess we got to go fetch the moon again. Well, thank you to uh, Glass Anatole. My mind has been blown. That's a lot more helpful than uh, reading that weird paragraph. And now we have this as well. Whoa. Oh god, the sound. I'm assuming I need to, like, align these as well. Oh, that doesn't go away in the sun. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? There. I did it. And then I go in and beam up into the mirror. Oh my god. No. There's nothing happening. No, something is happening. Oh. Follow it. Wait, I can't even catch up. What am I doing now? Maybe these things are like spiraling in onto a point or something that I need to find. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to like go. No, where they converge, I was going to say. What? I can't shoot anymore, so I can't place markers. What am I supposed to do with that? And I can I can still move it, so maybe we just take it into the eclipse? Whoa. The rocks are like falling down to the the moon again, are they? Okay, here's, here's the sun. Does that do anything? Wait, what even was that building? Was that just the building we've been in? The one right here? Wait, where'd it go? I swear the building was like right next to me. Nope, I guess not. It's opposite. There's something. Whoa, what? Wait, what? Okay, so that's definitely something I'm trying to get to. Oh, there we go. Oh. Can I place the thing and walk through here? Nope. Alright, well now it's rotating on its own. But I can still move it, so now I guess we move it back to the sun? Maybe? It's weird, I'm like constructing the gun thing and then deconstructing it for some reason. No. That's not it. Whoa! What? Huh? That wasn't there before? How does that make sense? What did I just do? I don't know what I just did, but I guess I solved it. Yay me. And now I can't do anything. I can't, like, turn the moon at all. So now we just, like... 
There's something over there I guess I go to? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. No. Here? No. I should probably study the moon a bit closer. If I can find my way back. There it is. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell is happening? Am I going to, like, the B-side? Side A complete, I guess. The other way around. I have a terrible headache. The bridge must be a miscalculation of the boatswain. Despite my growing com comprehension of her wor work, or I don't even know how that's pronounced, the boatswain thing, every configuration on compatible plan seems like a random model grafted onto a problem that is too complex. I can only hope that things will be different when I reach the anomaly. Okay. So that's side A complete. Oh, no, let's do the music. There we go. So if I flip this... Uh, how do I flip it? I can't flip it anymore? Whoa. Wait, what? Look around? Am I traveling? Um... Is this my fuel? Whoa! Alright, I guess I went somewhere. I, I think I just went, like, out into space for no reason. And I, I was not supposed to do that. Gamer. The gamer planet. Nice. So wait, what did that even say? What was my achievement? Lose the keys in side A in a different order. What? Wait, I did something you weren't supposed to? I guess? Huh. And I'm 95%? No, I'm 50% of side A. Really? Man, this is so weird. AFK BRB. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There seems to be a lot to this game, but it's extremely confusing. Whoa. Oh, side A, Edwin. What's that? Okay, I guess I did that. Visit a star system named by another player. Okay, so now we're... I guess I completed the, like, main thing. The first initial planet. And now it's, like... Go into the cosmos and visit other people's planets. However, that makes sense. Where the hell am I? I should probably actually look where I am. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, like, opposite where I'm going. Like, this way, I think. No? Maybe it's just kind of big? Or did I completely miss the mark? I probably just... Oh! I missed the mark completely. Wait. Turn. 
like this much, right? Come on, where's that thing? Whoa, what is happening? I just can't find this fucking structure. Where am I? Okay, there. It should be straightforward here. There's no way it's not straightforward now, right? Finally, I don't know how I fucked that up so many times. And now we get things to do. Now I can like spin the planet or the moon, can I? Oh, I can, wow, I can already carry it. So this is like a different order this time. But I can't rotate it. So I kind of need to like see if there's anything on it. Doesn't really seem like there's much going on. There's just that single structure. Well, wait, something else just appeared. Okay, I need to find the sun again so I can navigate. Oh, there it is. Okay, so where are we now? Man, not being able to rotate the moon is kind of a, a hindrance. Just like sitting here, waiting for it to rotate. So there's the previous structure. Do I see the other one already or do I have to look at that in daytime? There's me. I just move it. Where the hell? I definitely saw another thing somewhere. Yeah, there. But where am I in relation to that? Yeah, that's hard to see. It's gone now. But I, I roughly know where it is. Okay, wait, I think it would be like this way. Do I want to do that in nighttime or daytime? I'm assuming daytime. Maybe this way? Actually, maybe, maybe it is nighttime. Because nighttime is like when you, uh... Or in the during the eclipse is when you get all of your gun parts, I suppose. So I just need to like look at where it is in relation to me and then leave it dark, maybe. Okay, there's me. And there is the other thing. Okay, it's like, it's almost exactly opposite of where I am. So, leave it here. Turn like 180 around, roughly. And let's see. Just the fact that the structure is not there in the, like, eclipse map makes me think I have to not be in the eclipse. And it kind of seems to be the case. But maybe I have to just leave the, the moon over here? Oh boy. This game is extremely confusing, but also kind of like engaging in a weird way. Here we go, found it. And what did that do? 
nothing. It looks like there's a triangle on it, like I'm supposed to get the rotation power, but I didn't. Maybe it's like because it's the wrong order. I need to get a different functionality first or something. I don't know, but then how could I do that? No, oh, is this new? No, this is where I got the first one. Right? Do we uh, have anything new? Yep, we do. Now there's a third structure. And where is that in relation to me? Right there, like about over here-ish. Wait, did I have to do this in day? I did have to do it in day, right? Oh man, I'm I'm just forgetting. Let's just check it out anyway. I think I missed it. Truly that's in day, right? That's the previous structure. No, it's not. There we go. What? Huh? That was just getting out of there? What is happening? 95% of side A. So if I go back into side A, what happens then? And now I have like way more fuel as well. Is that what's happening? What the hell? And now I can just collect all these again, but what would that do? Why would I want to like redo this one, and what does it mean to be 95% complete and not 100%? Oh boy. I mean, points for being original, I suppose. That's definitely something you can say about this game. It's unlike anything I've ever played before. I'm not sure that's, like, completely a good thing, but... I am weirdly drawn to it, and I definitely think I'm gonna come back to it, because yeah, I'm probably gonna stop streaming pretty soon here, but I would definitely be interested in checking this out again, because we haven't, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface on this game. And yeah, I, I don't really mind the whole, uh, you can't look around with a mouse, like, some people were giving it, like, negative reviews, saying, Oh, just let me look around with a mouse. So frustrating. I don't know, that's, like, the entire point of the game, really. Right, I can shoot. I should be doing that now. Oh, I'm, like, right there, but let's shoot. Oh, it just shoots over there. I don't want to do that. But I guess that's fine. Wait, no, 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 I can rotate, right? I have the... Yeah, I can. So, shoot here. There we go. And there it is. Okay. Now I get the ball, which lets me grab the moon. And now, is there anything new? That's not new, right? I think I've been there. I'm basically just redoing side A, and I don't know why. Yeah, you're just pillars again. I'm just gonna read this thing again. Uh, wait, where is it? Just to see timing and blind spots. You now have a portal to the moon. When you arrive on the moon, what? Wait. And it will take part of your tool and project a beam of light upward. Yeah, I did that. If you go, look at the moon, drag the moon back to the epicenter building, maneuver both. Yeah, I mean, that, that was fine for me, like, connecting them. The beam coming from the moon will curve at some point. Yeah, this is weird. He's talking about this 
part of the puzzle where like there was a beam coming from the mirror moon and from the moon and you had to like link them up that was like the easiest part of this entire puzzle and he's spending like half of this paragraph talking about that and then the whole like align the epicenter was just like yeah just do that just align it and then go there and there you go the curved line actually almost touches blah 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 you now have a portal to the moon okay when you arrive on the moon that's just isn't that just after walking on the thing is it actually just i have to do this again all the way and then create the moon thing and then just like walk onto it or what you will notice these weird shapes look for the red planet you just left oh i guess i'm not on the moon i thought that was the whole point like i'm on the moon and that is the mirror moon it's like a copy of the moon i'm on but maybe i'm on a planet i guess figure out what the shapes are for yeah this just feels like this is like the second part, or the next part, after I go on the weird sky bridge, but the sky bridge just took me back to my cockpit. So maybe I just have to do this again, all the way, which is kind of annoying. So now I guess we just, uh, shoot a bunch of pillars and find the, the pillars again. There. Oh, right, I have to touch the other one. Yuri. Good old Yuri. Then over... Wait, no. This whole, like, shooting, painting mechanic is pretty fascinating. Yeah. Here's... Stanislaw. And then just, like, draw a line over here. And that's this way, is it? Or is that where I came from? Yeah, I think it's here. These are sharper pillars. There, fill it, and then just like over here as well. Yeah. Kneel. So now the epicenter is alive and well again. And... What was the point of this? Like, do I have to align anything at all? Where am I here? Right there. So can't I just do this? And then just leave that? Yeah, what? That's so simple. What the hell? That is so much simpler than what the fuck that guy was writing about, like lining up the pillars so they touch with the epicenter and rotating the moon. You don't have to do that at all. I'm really confused. And yeah, we still have some pillars left over so I can get back the moon as well. Right, yeah. So then we grab it, and then go back again, and there, yeah, that's, wow, you definitely needed like a full paragraph to explain how to align that. And okay, what did he say after this part? You now have a portal to the moon. And then he just skips the rest. When you arrive on the moon, what do you mean? He's skipping over this part entirely. Like, what are these things that shoot out and what do they mean? Good lord. Yeah, I can't make any... I can't shoot anymore, so I can't, like... figure out where I am as easily. Okay, let's just try going back there. Nope. In darkness.
Is this actually something I need to do? I did this before, and then just suddenly found something new, didn't I? Yeah, what the hell? How does that make sense? Wait, and did I... Was I supposed to follow another one of those? I, I followed the same one now, and maybe that was like the wrong order again. I don't know. No, I'm... I'm... Oh, God, what? Now I'm doing things differently than before. Huh? Wait, how do I... How do I get that to come back? I guess I just have to keep up with the moon? Yeah, this is different than last time. I guess I did just find it, like, in a different order. Yeah, not that. But just keep following the moon. Do I want it to eclipse again? Hmm, no. I need to find that structure one more time. There. No, that's that's the different one. Here, go, go, go. Quick, before it disappears. There. And then, then what? Then we go over here? Yeah, I mean, that went a lot smoother that time, at least. I think I'm supposed to go the opposite way. Yeah, I'm going, like, the wrong way around. Yeah. So now I'm doing that again, whatever this means, but am I just going to get taken to the cockpit again? Yeah, it's just the same thing. Hmm. Reach the anomaly. Still 95%. Well, I guess I just repeated all that for nothing. I'm just really confused. I guess as soon as you as soon as you do the epicenter thing, you're apparently on the moon, according to this guy anyway. I see, yeah, weird shapes projecting from the building. Those are the ones. You can't shoot them. Look for the red planet. The red planet now serves as the minimap. I did not, like, catch on to that, that we had flipped planets. I thought it was just the same as before. Figure out what the shapes are for, like the, the ones that domino out from the thing, the building. Eclipse with a red planet, and the shapes become more visible. Try following each of the individual paths. One of the paths reveals a building. Ah, so I just randomly got the one path that reveals the building? Okay. Yeah. Unmoving black circle. Oh. Really, I did not notice that at all. The red planet will begin to move in an orbital path around the moon on its own. Look at the red planet and you will notice an unmoving black circle. The circle is not a threat or an indicator. It serves as a blind spot. 
you can no longer point or drag. You can still rotate the red planet. For use as a frustrating minimap. You'll have to chase the red planet's orbit, continue rotating it to catch a glimpse of structure that seems to emerge and bury itself in sync with the orbit of the red planet. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this part is was really easy and he's kind of overcomplicating it, but I don't know. I just don't know uh, how you get the like 100% on side A, but I think I'm gonna have to just leave it off here for today. But yeah, this was interesting. I'm definitely... I'm confused. But I'm kind of into it. I, I like the atmosphere of it. I like the weirdness. And there's definitely some like substance here. There There's stuff to do and things. I don't know. It's just very confusing and, and gamer. Gamer. That's that's it. Huh. Well, I like it. I'll be back to it. Maybe not right away. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow. I'll see what I feel like what I feel, feel like doing or whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching. This was an interesting experience. Hope you enjoyed. Good night.